Gone Girl. Don't ever get married. Gone Girl, based on a book and stars Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike, Tyler Perry, and Neil Patrick Harris and is directed by David Fincher. This movie is all about Ben Affleck and his wife, Rosamund Pike. They're a married couple, they've been together a few years and everything seems okay, they seem fine. And so one day, Ben Affleck goes home and uh, his wife is uh, missing. That's not good when your wife goes missing. It looks like she put up a fight and there was a bit of a struggle and then word gets out to the media that she's missing and the media does what they do best. They, uh, they jump to conclusions and they start assuming that Ben Affleck probably had something to do with it. But can you blame him? He's kind of awkward. Some of his behavior is a bit off. Did he do it? Did he really kill his wife? The movie also spliced in clips of Rosamund Pike writing in her diary and it's like, oh yeah, Ben Affleck, he totally offed his wife. He did it. Or didn't he? I don't know. I'm so conflicted. I loved it. This movie was an absolute trip. It was a total murder mystery roller coaster, and it was just thrilling as shit. It's a David Fincher movie, so of course the visuals look fucking fantastic. Each shot is well done. He's got these muted colors going on. It's dark and stylized to an extreme. He just did an amazing job of creating this moody atmosphere. You know what else happens in a David Fincher movie? Everybody turns in a good acting performance, for the most part. Ben Affleck, he was great. He was more of a toned down character. Tyler Perry, he was surprisingly good. He should really do more movies where he's not dressed as a grandma. Neil Patrick Harris, he was okay. I didn't care too much for his performance. He was supposed to be this stalkerish kind of guy and I just didn't get that vibe from him. The person that completely stole the show though was Ben Affleck's wife, Rosamund Pike. Holy shit, she was fucking awesome. I know she's been in other movies and was completely forgettable, but in Gone Girl, she was uh, totally unforgettable. The music was killer. Trent Reznor, that motherfucker, he knows how to manipulate electronic sounds in a way that it'll just add to the on-screen tension. The movie is long, so make sure you pee before you see it, but it's so good. It never slows down, it's never boring during any parts, and I'm pretty sure I just sat there with my mouth open the whole time. If you get anything out of this movie, just make sure you take things the media says with a grain of salt, and also, uh, be careful who you marry, because apparently marriage is super scary. I enjoyed the shit out of this movie. It's easily one of the best of the year. Is it David Fincher's best movie? Uh, not quite, but it's definitely up there. So in the end, I'm saying that Gone Girl is 9 out of 10 asses. Thank you for watching Talking Out My Ass. My name is Jared Cook. Make sure you thumbs up this video, give it a like, and then uh, down below, drop me a comment. Tell me what you thought of Gone Girl if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, then just tell me your favorite David Fincher movie. Until next time, I will, uh, you know, talk to you later or something.